Oh, okay. All right. Three, two. Hey, one dollar secret with 7285 Bishiktash from Turkey. Today we have Shweda, Alia, and Khan here to talk about their amazing robot. Just saw them on the practice field, and wow, this robot is a must to see. We have a tunnel system, really amazing gripper and elevator system. We'll be going through all that here on Behind the Bumpers. This video on First Updates Now is made possible by viewers like you and also the following sponsors. SOLIDWORKS is free for FIRST teams. Over 80% of US engineering schools and 370,000 plus companies use SOLIDWORKS to design great products. SOLIDWORKS can help you design a great robot on desktop or on the cloud. Go to SOLIDWORKS.com FIRST to register your team. Get your off-season events an additional 25 to 100% more viewership by streaming it on FUN. We'll donate our Twitch or YouTube channel and help promote your event. Contact admin at firstupdatesnow.com to reserve your off-season date. All right, Shreda, talk to us about your intake okay. and your and your tunnel system and walk us through it. Okay, first, uh, in that way, we use SGS Swarm Models MK4. And as you can see, we choose making our drive chain white because we want them white intake. So let's go to intake. We use the same model with the tunnel to intake. It is right over there. And we can use our intake as outtake for it's according to the law. And as you see, we open our intake with two cylinders. So, after intake, we go to the tunnel. It's a basic mechanism powered by the same motor as I said, and we use turbos over there. So, it's just for making the position right to the gripper. So, there's a point about our intake. That the point is we can play any orientation for corn. That's the biggest side of our intake, actually. Like, everyone can do that. So, that's all I guess for me. All right, now, con. Tell, talk to me about your, your elevator and your arm and your gripper. Yes, so once we take the object from the tunnel uh, to the gripper side, uh, we use two pneumatic cylinders to actually grab the object. And we can uh, grab the object and uh, open up the uh, arm like this, so we can reach the desired uh, mid and high rungs. Uh, we can also uh, use the elevator, and uh, I'll just talk about the arm. Uh, so we use, uh, we use a, car a carbon pipe here uh, to make it lightweight. Uh, and we have two uh, flex wheels on top to uh, increase the uh, contact area uh, so we can tightly grab our objects. Um, in the elevator, we have a one-stage elevator. Uh, we use uh, two 54-inspired uh, uh, bay blocks uh, to actually uh, ride the elevator like this. Uh, and we use this uh, elevator to actually reach to, to the mid and high rungs, as you can see. it. Uh, if someone can help me, I can open up the elevator. Uh, well, yeah, thank you. So it actually goes up like this. And this will be a similar preset while we're scoring cubes and cones to the high height. Now, with your, with your gripper, you have a pa it's passive wheels to make sure the cones are always facing downwards? Uh, yes, so we actually use the centrifugal force with the arm, uh, with the acceleration while we're opening it, uh, so that the orientation of the cones, like the bottom, is always, uh, the opening is always uh, facing uh, to the pipes, to the pipes uh, while, uh, while we're scoring it, so we ensure that the orientation uh, is, is always li like we want it to be uh, while we're scoring. Really nice. Let's send it to you, Alia. Talk to me about your software and all your presets. We have Jack and Jonathan here to to your drive team demonstrating the robot for us. So talk to us through it for, for us. Uh, first of all, uh, we have uh, two beam, beam brake sensors right here on the robot. And uh, we use them to detect if we got a cube or a cone. If both of them are detected, uh, that means we got a cube. And if one of them is detected, that means we got a cone. Uh, and uh, by that, uh, we have diff we activated different presets by just using one button, so it's more efficient for the uh, operator while uh, controlling the robot. So more on the presets, uh, we have uh, top, mid, low and high on the elevator. And before uh, they show you, we use motion profiling uh, and PID uh, to calculate the position and then use Falcon in internal encoders uh, to uh, get them where it's supposed to be. So uh, let's show them uh, top first, uh, then uh, uh, low, uh, mid, and high. Yes, let me switch to another topic about like uh, auto balancing on the charging station. 
Uh, we again use the uh, PID to do that with, with gyro. And uh, uh, our like one of the most useful functions in our robot is probably uh, the alignment function on the uh, driver's uh, joystick. Uh, we use um, reflective bands for cones and uh, April tags uh, for the cubes. Uh, uh, we use pose estimation and with the uh, uh, pose estimation when we know uh, the spot of our robot uh, we uh, use then uh, the Falcon internal encoders again to move the robot uh, accordingly. Alright, I want to give it back to you Shoeda. When a game piece goes in, especially like a cone, yeah. through your intake and your Tra your tunnel does it automatically just straighten itself out how does that work yeah, yeah as i said that the tunnel's biggest purpose is that making the position right for a gripper and as i said with this we can play any orientation of files so yeah that's it all right 7285 thank you for walking your robot through us with us uh here representing turkey really excited for you guys and thank good luck thank you <laughs> This video on First Updates Now is made possible by viewers like you and also the following sponsors. SolidWorks is free for first teams. Over 80% of U.S. engineering schools and 370,000 plus companies use SolidWorks to design great products. SolidWorks can help you design a great robot on desktop or on the cloud. Go to SolidWorks.com first to register your team. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell to stay up to date on our new videos. Keep the conversation going and provide your input to our content. Watch our live shows at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Join our Discord at discord.gg forward slash first updates now and check out Fun FTC on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and First Updates Now on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter.